Well, good morning. I hope that uh, you are up and ready for whatever today uh, has for you. I wanted to give you maybe a two-part uh, look at what John writes in 1 John chapter number 4 on the subject of what kind of love should uh, flow from uh, the believer in the Lord Jesus Christ. Anyone who has encountered Christ should have a certain kind of love. And before I do, I just want to share this with you. Uh, we live in a day where really love is abused. Um, our within our relationships, friendships, we use the word love while we do unloving things. We uh, we live our lives sometimes making decisions that we think are, are really about me and no one else. Well, God wants to, to point to that and say, hey, look, um, I didn't love you because of what it brought to me. I loved you because of what you needed. And so when we meet God, uh, when we meet Christ and he comes into our lives, he teaches us how to love in a different way. In fact, let me read it to you, starting in verse number seven. It says, Beloved, let us love one another. Notice that? He didn't say, let's love ourselves by doing things loving that benefit me. He says, Beloved, let us love one another, for, the, for love is of God, and everyone that loveth is born of God. Now, he doesn't say everyone that says they love someone is of God. He says people that loveth by the love that he just described, the love that is about others. Uh, see, a lot of our lives are about me, and, and we don't even concern ourselves about what our decisions and what our behaviors do to other people. Uh, so he goes on, he says, uh, uh, everyone that loveth is born of God and knoweth God. He that loveth not knoweth not God, for God is love. Now, see that it's, it's natural for us to love others properly. Most of us do things and we shroud them in secrecy if we think they might hurt other people because, you know, that's loving. But actually, love uh, doesn't do things that have to be done secretly. Because love is something that is that God is talking about here. God love is able to be done openly and without boundaries. Uh, because this kind of love is about the benefit of others and not the hurt to others. And so uh, he goes on though, uh, and he says this. He says, "In this was manifested the love of God toward us, because that God sent His only begotten Son into the world, that we might live through Him." Did you notice that He didn't send His Son into the world so that He could have a better existence. He sent his son into the world as a loving act because of what it does for us. It was totally void of what it did for him. He did it for the motivation of loving us. Uh, and so here in his love, next verse, uh, not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son to be the propitiation for our sins or the substitution or the sacrifice or the payment or the satisfaction that's required for our sins. Beloved, if God, if God so loved us, we ought to love one another. Listen, this is powerful. We ought to love one another. Most of our love is focused on me. We love ourselves so much that we focus all the attention of what we need. What's in it for me? Where are my needs being met? How come I don't get? Where's mine? And God says, if you know him, you love others. And people will know that we know God because of our love for others. And so I want to encourage you with that today. When you go out about your day, instead of hiding your movements in secrecy or, or, or doing things that are uh, sadly underhanded or dishonest uh, because of what they benefit to me, that's love for me. We ought to love one another. We ought to think of how our behaviors, our activities, how they represent Christ uh, to a world. Uh, we ought to love one another is what the Bible says. If we know God and God knows us, his love will flow through us quite naturally. And so I want to encourage you to lead out with the love of God today. Be open and honest with people. Don't hide things in secrecy. Uh, don't pretend one thing when you're in someone's presence and be another thing when you're not. Uh, try to be as, as honest with people as you can. Because if we love God and God is in us, uh, his love will naturally flow through. He'll temper our words. He'll give us the things to say. He'll give us the actions uh, that we should, should do uh, to prove that we genuinely love people. 
He says, if the love of God is in us, we will naturally love others. I hope that helps you enjoy a greater and better day.